Welcome in. I'm Roseanne Haven. I'm Peter Albrecht. Thanks for making WKRG your number one choice for news at 6 o'clock. Today was the first Mobile City Council meeting without President LaVon Manzi, who died Sunday night. WKRG News 5's Gabby Easterwood is live at Government Plaza to tell us how Manzi's council colleagues are handling this big loss. Well, during the meeting today, all of the council members were understandably emotional, each of them going around the room and sharing memories they have with LaVon Manzi. Now, the council also placed a black ribbon on top of this chair where he sat for his eight years on the council. There was also a moment of silence as everyone in the council chambers also reflected on their memories with Manzi. Now, Council Vice President CJ Small also said he would be taking on the responsibilities of District 2 until November 1st when a new member will take their seat. Now, they also spoke on his life as a servant leader, saying he was so easy to work with and that his passion for the city was contagious. A heartbroken council and a single black bow placed where Council President LaVon Manzi once sat. He's gone too soon. Tremendous man. Each council member speaking on his life as a servant leader. The passion that LaVon had for this town was amazing. He had the dream, he had the vision, he had the passion to fulfill his dream to be the council president. He was a superb public servant for the citizens of the district in which he represented. Moving forward without Manzi, a difficult but necessary task. Council Vice President C.J. Small taking on the responsibilities of District 2. Any citizen of District 2, if you need anything between now and when a new person take their seat on November 1st, please reach out to me, along with what well, my constituent was in District 3. But he had my back then, and brother LeVon Manzi, I got my back now. As for the runoff election, Manzi's name will remain on the ballot next to William Carroll's. The city clerk saying since she's been with the city, this is the first time an election has happened with an incumbent who is deceased. Did um, confer with um, several acts of law to make sure that we were following the steps, that we are following the steps that we should uh, follow and take in order to uh, conduct this runoff election. If he receives the majority of the votes, a special election will be called anywhere from 60 to 120 days afterwards. Though right now the city and those who worked alongside him are focusing on honoring him and respecting his family. He's one step, one step ahead of us. He now knows the glory of the God that he worshipped and that he taught us about. Now, the city clerk also went on to say that she hopes, despite the loss of Manzi, that there still will be a large turnout at that next election. Live in downtown Mobile, Gabby Easterwood, WKRG News 5.